Hi everyone, it's Lead Gen Man here and in this video, I am going to show you how to create appointment reminder assistant by using Retail AI, by using this NA8 workflow as well as you can use any CRM solution that you want. So the use case or the application that we are going to build is, for instance, if you are having meeting at let's say 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So what we are trying to do is, we are trying to decrease the no-show rates and increase the level of personalization with our clients and customers. So what we are going to do with our AI voice agent is, it will make an outbound call just one hour earlier before this appointment. For example, at 2 p.m. saying, hey first name, are you coming up this meeting like we have this meeting after one hour, are you coming it or not? If the prospect says yes, then it will end the call saying, all right, see you later. But if prospect says no, it will reschedule the appointment. So that's the beauty of using AI voice agent by Retail AI and this amazing NA8 workflow. Now, if you need this workflow, this is available in my course as well as in my school community. So what I will do is I will put the school as well as the course link in the description section. So make sure to check it out. Now let us test this out. First of all, what we are doing is we are adding the data from your CRM or from whatever you are going to add that appointment. Now here it will create an Google Sheet event. For example, whenever your appointment time with your prospect is, it will automatically create that event in Google Sheet so that you don't have to do it manually every single time. So let us run one by one and this is our retail AI assistant. To be honest, it is very basic prompt. Simply what we are doing is we are letting the user know that we will see them in one hour. This is our step one. Yeah, if we can count on the commitment on the call and if they say yes, Goodbye to the user mentioning we won't take more of your time, see you later and activate the end call function so that it will instantly end the call and if the user says no, it will first of all check for the availability for rescheduling and book on that particular slot. Alright, that's pretty much what we are going to achieve in this video and the rest of the prompt is very basic and generic and these are the dynamic variables that we are calling. For example, we have the lead name and the business problem in our CRM. I am using Google Sheet because most of you guys are aware of Google Sheet but you can use Airtable, HubSpot, Go High Level, whatever you like. So we have the prospect name here. We have the problem or the business problem that we will be calling them and the email. Right now the pre-call status is no. So what it will do is after this workflow has been done and the outbound call has been made by our retail AI voice agent, it will change it to call so that we can understand and we can easily scheme and scan which prospect are called or not. And we don't want to call this prospect again and again and being annoying. That's why it will automatically change the status from no to called. All right, by using this append or update the Google Sheet. So let us run one by one. So let us run this module. So what it will do is it will create a Google Sheet event. Yeah, you can see it will create a Google Sheet event. Feel free to customize like the description, the event ID, the event name. But as this is an example, I'm just showing you. So for example, click on add fields and you can add the description, guest, bunch of things. Yeah, but I hope you got my point. Now what we want to achieve is we want to also add this information to Google Sheet so that right now the prospect is not called yet. The prospect will be called here. So what we will do is we will say add this information to this Google Sheet append this information and the pre-call status is no right now. Alright, the pre-call status is no. So after the call is been made, it will automatically update to the status called. First delete this. So let us run this. Awesome. So we should have, yeah. Now we are dividing into two segments. If the status here is called, it will follow this part, which is do nothing, no operation. But if not, it will wait for one hour before the meeting. For example, it will wait at 2 p.m. before this meeting. So how we are going to do that is by using ChatGPT or Claude to come up with the math formula because we are going to use the math formula for this wait function. We need to make sure that it is calling just at that particular date and at that particular time minus one hour. So it is a generic formula. What we are doing is we are subtracting one hour from our event ID. That's it. And if you want to know about the formula, you can always reach out to the course or the school community. This entire workflow, all of this prompt and bunch of other things, to be honest, everything about AI voice agent will be there in my school as well as in my course. And then it will do an HTTP post request from here. It will make a call. We are calling the dynamic variable lead name. This problem. This is our curl code. 
and once we trigger this it will append from no to call so let us test it out yeah so it is running our http node workflow successfully executed and we should get a call hello mantham patel this is sam from flux fortify yeah hi sam i'm glad to hear that i'm calling to remind you about our meeting in one hour to discuss how ai can help cut down employees can we count on your commitment for the call yeah, yeah, I will be there. Perfect. Thank you. We won't take up more of your time now. See you later. Yeah, awesome. And did you see it automatically converted from no to call because it has made the outbound call. Yeah, so that's the beauty of this type of reminder assistant. You don't have to manually set an appointment setter or a VA to do this. It will automatically do 24 by 7 as well as it will automatically create appointment in your Google Calendar. You don't have to touch anything. All you need to do is have this workflow as well as this prompt. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And did you see it did reflect my name because we are calling the dynamic variable. It did mention hello Manthan Patel since I am the lead name here. And it spoke the business problem. Like, do you want to cut down employees by using AI? It did call that in our conversation. Yeah, so that's the beauty of it. Again, if you want this type of workflows and if you want to learn more about it, Always like, subscribe and I will see you in another one.